Hey yo, what's up? What it do? It's your boy the Hugh Cypher coming at you one more again, dropping some knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Like yo, I'm gonna just jump right into this one. It's been a long time in making this response, but this is a response to a guy that goes by the name of Stefan Steven Stefan Molino. Not sure how he would prefer his name to be pronounced. But this is a response to a dissection that he did of the Black Panther movie. And when you watch his video, part of the premise of his attack is his belief that black Africans never achieved anything of value in terms of civilization. And it's, it's as if to say, it is, it, it is as if he is saying, Black people, don't you even dare of dreaming being so awesome. Don't you even fantasize about being so awesome. Like, in his mind, it's like, how dare you even dream of a Wakanda, you know? And I'm like, man, you know, that that's deep. That's some deep psychological stuff right there, you know, that he even had to entertain um, doing such an attack on a comic book movie, right? <laughs> you know, you know. But he kind of cries these crocodile tears and he bemoans that, um, you know, he wouldn't know what it felt like to not be able to derive pride from archaeology and history. And, you know, he's talking about black African people not having any uh, contribution to civilization. Uh, he later kind of follows this up with uh, stating that black Africans never made a structure taller than two stories before they met Europeans. And, you know, I'm sitting here listening to this and I'm like, you know, willful ignorance utter willful ignorance and Stefan is obviously a smart guy and it's like I'm amazed sometimes how these so-called race realists could be smart on one hand but you know have no type of understanding about true world history I'm like doesn't this guy know about the pyramids in Nubia? These pyramids are 30 to 40 meters. That's a bit taller than two stories. You have all of the um, West African architecture, uh, especially dating back to the golden era of Timbuktu. Structures most definitely taller than two stories. You have old great Zimbabwe stone structure dating back to um, the African medieval period most definitely taller than two stories I mean how could he not know about the castles the the obelisk and the the, the, the temples and government buildings in ancient um, Ethiopia you know you could go to the city of Gondor um, the, the province of Gondor today the real Gondor um, in Ethiopia not the Gondor in um, you know um, Tolkien's Middle Earth um, in, in Gondor you see these castles you see castles throughout Ethiopia. These are structures that black Africans built uh, before having any contact with the European. How could this guy be so willfully ignorant to even utter, you know, those two statements, you know, that black people can't derive pride from architecture and history. And it kind of shows you the fallacy in the race realist mind state, the mental state of the race realist, because it's such a biased mind state. He also uh, attacks the city of Detroit and says it's in its dire straits because it's, he basically is saying this the, the city of Detroit is in such a bad condition because it has a lot of black people there um, and I'm like you know wouldn't 260 over 200 over 260,000 jobs leaving Detroit have impacted that city uh, more so than just the fact it has a lot of black people because when Detroit was the Paris of the Midwest, um, the Paris of America, um, it had a lot of black people. 
But at that time, those black people had jobs because the auto in industry was there, and that's basically what had sustained Detroit. But when the auto industry left, Detroit fell apart. So, you know, you can't blame it on the fact that it has a lot of black people there, you know. But, the, but then again, this is the race realist. And like I said, even with a race realist like Stefan Molyneux, who, again, a very smart guy, but you could have the best computer, the best computer computer but if you put BS into your computer it's gonna spew out BS if you have an equation that is skewed um, in the beginning the results of that equation is going to be skewed into ever whichever direction you direct that uh, equation into and this is what we're dealing with the race really yes. this guy is utterly biased and you but he delivers it well, very well spoken um, gentleman. But his views are, you know, utterly biased, man. You know, if you just really analyze a lot of the stuff he says, um, you know, but you know, like I said, Stefan took about an hour to dissect the Black Panther movie. I'm not gonna take an hour in my rebuttal to it. I don't think it's necessary. Um, again, because he, you know, he's building off a lot of fallacies from the from the beginning. Um, again, you know, he's a race realist. He believes that people of European descent are innately. Um, more intelligent than African peoples and I say innately um, he says this is based he believes this is based in genetics and biology um, I believe um, I don't deny the IQ scores uh, I would love to see African American and black African IQ scores um, raised and you know I have a simple solution for that and that's basically changing the uh, cultural uh, environment the cultural and physical economic Economic and educational environments within um, black African communities within the African American community in particular it being the community I am from the um, the facts about um, African Americans you know for a large part we come from communities that are under a constant social, economic, systemic, racist um, assault and a constant psychological uh, assault as the result of that and just to, just, to, just to survive that environment takes a lot of strength, mental strength and intelligence to survive that environment and of course you could quantify intelligence in many different ways. Um, again, Stefan Molyneux obviously a smart guy arrives at some really really idiotic conclusions um, his, his scientific method is incomplete because when you are making uh, a theory or hypothesis about anything you have to control for every factor within what you're studying uh, within what you're um, researching about you have to control um, every possible um, influence that could affect that study and when the race will the race will is for them to hold on to their world view they have to minimize or dismiss systemic racism they have to they have to minimize this in order for them to hold on to this um, you know genetic BS that they uh, cling to it's um, you know, it's it's you know it's interesting to really um, to watch you know how their wheels spin and you know when you hear these race realists talk like Stefan Molyneux, it understandably it angers a lot of people of color, a lot of people of African descent. But you know, to me, it's amusing because when you really, really understand, you know, your genetics, you understand your uh, history, um, your world history, you understand uh, uh, psychological dynamics because environment affects cognitive behavior. And for anyone to dismiss this, 
it's it's clear that they're operating from some type of extreme bias. And this is what we have with these so-called race realists. And you know, it's it's amusing when you sit back and watch. It's like, man, you know, these you know, it's like these, these, these dudes really think they're they're being so smart in this approach, and it's it's so it's so lacking in a complete scientific method, man. It's uh, I you know, it's it's laughable. Like I said, I find it amusing, man. <laughs> you know, but um, you know um. I, like I said, I'm not going to go on this one hour diatribe in my response to Stefan Molyneux. Um, just thinking, have I touched on all the points I want to touch on? Um, I think I have. I think I have. I think I'm going to end that right there. Let you guys chew on that for a minute. So, in departure, I'm going to say shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Hotep. Peace. And, uh, you know, Keep your mind open. There's nothing worse than a closed mind that thinks it's open. You know. All right, y'all. Peace.